a I am awash in a sea of buttons right now. So I have got <laughs> two stream decks. I've got all of the extra keys on my keyboard, which I haven't bound yet. The ones that used to accidentally John Cena myself with. And in an impulse purchase earlier this week, because I could pay in installments, I got a foot pedal. So, so now I can do like impromptu, you know, fast zooms into my face without, you know, actually having to use my hands, which is, which is really, you know, really useful. How embarrassing. I know. It's a poor way to spend money, but it makes me happy. And happiness is all I can get these days. Anyway... Schwab, you surprised the Automod is here to begin with? That's a long story. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Anyway. That's Naku some Narus. So yeah, I should probably introduce this for anyone that's just turning up. Naku Naru 2 is the name of the mod. Map set is Orga Zenith. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, screaming and cyberpunky and swordy, stabby, shooty, bangy. It's a good description. I'm keeping that. Difficulty Amaratsu's blessing for babies. For those who don't care about balance and want to have fun, Gongan. Gongan. That's what she said. Uh, too young to die equivalent. Easy. Deva. Hurt me plenty, standard. Mewbo! Ultra violence equivalent, hard difficulty, and Euro. Euro. I'm going to say this in the most British way. Euro! No say. Prove you're a real Deva with this nightmare difficulty equivalent. Ah, I'm alright. I'll just. It's like Deva. Deva difficulty. I should bind the foot pedal to move my character forward slightly so the game movement is more immersive. I've seen people bind the foot pedal for certain games to do like leaning around corners in like tactical shooters. And I thought it was going to be like kind of laggy, but it's not. So if I do like slam, yeah, yeah, it's quite quick. It's just that when I press certain other buttons, like the uh, return to this screen button, it has to queue up the transition, which sometimes takes a little while. And then there's, you know, the doom gang thing, which comes up pretty quick now. On, off, on, off, on, off. Is it Imperial Japanese era armament themed? Let's find out. Demonic Samurai transported to cyberpunk future is a theme I can get behind. It just fits. Ah, so it is. It is feather fire. That's probably not the technical term for it. I'm gonna say it anyway. But so far, I'd say that Naku Naru could be best described as demon with a handgun. A Japanese demon with a handgun. Buy a second pedal and bind them to move my camera left and right. Don't, 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 don't get me down this rabbit hole, man. I've already got enough streaming paraphernalia for someone who doesn't do it all that frequently. It's, it's, it's a very bad addiction that I do not need to feed. But given enough encouragement, I will! So what is that, nunchuck? Or is he just happy to see him? Oh shit, reload. Sneaky bugger. Ooh, my favorite. Why is the Spaz-12 everyone's favorite shotgun? And I know someone is gonna pop up and go, Well, actually, my favorite shotgun is the Benelli. Get out, you fucking hipster. It's a nice shotgun, but, you know, get out. Ooh. Hello. 
I like. Oh, someone forgot to feed the cacos. Burp. Ooh. 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 Nashko was a good choice. I know it's not the best idea, but sometimes I do like loading up gameplay mods blind. Not really checking out the details, just to see what it can surprise me with. Plus, I like the heft of these explodey barrels. They, they're pretty good. I thought I picked up another weapon as well. Right. Hey! Oh, that's, that's nice. That's some nice splody. But yeah, after a little bit of acclimatization through this level, I will go and uh, check if there's any more deeper mechanics that I'm missing out on. Because that is often the case. The fave shotgun is actually the Winchester 1897. Oh god, you're a double hipster. How embarrassing. Without any coal- Oh god. I misread that sentence. Out of context, I was like reading Okim's con uh, comment. The, no kind of hole to actually let you see through. What hole? With what? Oh, the gun. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were talking about a different kind of hole for a second, though. It's too early for that. Too early for that kind of discussion, man. I've only had one coffee. That's a lie. I've had two coffees. The point being, I need more. Yes, please. Extra sauce. Oh, is that a rocket launcher in there? My favorite kind of rocket launcher as well. That I'm gonna have to go get again because I forgot to save. I love the uh, the rocket launcher, like the box launcher out of Commando, and I love it because it's also present in a few of like my formative video games. Like the original Resident Evil Three. That box rocket launcher. I love that rocket launcher. Couldn't tell you the actual name of it. All I know is it's cool. The iPhone 13 camera launcher. <laughs> what? I could have just gone outside. There's a, there's a spare friggin... Spaz 12 up here. The M202 Flash Nugget? I, I couldn't tell you whether that's the name or not. All I know is it's square, it's green, it has four holes, and it makes things go boom. Those, those are the technical specifications, as far as I can tell. In. Eh. Maybe not that way. Let's let's go back inside. I'm done touching grass. Yeah, you know, I bring up how I get caught out by reloads in Doom mods every now and again in a video, and there's always someone who gets on my case about it. I'm like, what? It's, it's a particular problem for me. I'm gonna mention it. Fuck you. I can't help it. If 
if I play so much stuff that I get, get, get I just get confused, man. I'm getting old. I get confused over what games require a reload and what don't. The rhythm is difficult to maintain. I'm enjoying this. I think the vibe is exactly what I needed this particular morning. I got the jazzy soundtrack. I got the cyberpunk. I got the Japanese demon gameplay mod. I'm I'm in a good place. I just need more coffee. Did I know that Phil Spencer used that rocket launcher too? I have seen the meme. I've seen the meme. I have seen it. Apparently, Phil Spencer is also tired of uh, big game dev studios riding the success of 10 plus years old uh, franchises. Because that man apparently has no filter. I believe Phil Spencer really does want to, you know, do good things for gaming. I just think he, he's fighting against the structure of a terrible, terrible corporate monolith. There was a pun. There was a pun somewhere, apparently. Those abrupt close-ups scare you sometimes. Do they? Really? I'm sorry. I'll try. I'll try not to do them too often. Sorry, I'm having too much fun with my foot pedal. I'm still getting used to it, so I'll kind of... I'll... I'll <laughs> What's the opposite of fat finger? Uh, fat toe. I'll fat toe the button. So you'll get something stupid like this happening instead. Though, I do have like an emergency return button. Considering how often I'm kind of using like the zoom, I'm wondering about making it a two press toggle. Because that would free up another button. So currently the way I've got my foot pedal set up is, um... I gotta press one button for the close up and then the other button to, to get it back to normal. <laughs> you just got a second of close up and then a cut to an Xbox ad after talking about Phil Spencer. <laughs> Nugget, you got four ads running. What? How many? What? I'm sorry for anyone watching ads right now. You probably can't hear me, but you yeah, have my condolences. I'm there in spirit. Twitch has been getting uh, a little bit more brazen with the ad rolls lately. I, I, I'm not sure whether they automatically beefed it up while I wasn't looking, but I might, I might try and reduce the, uh, the ad roll to like 30 seconds, which is like the minimum. No close up during the Halloween Doom stream. Oh, absolutely, there will be close-ups. There may even be jump scares. Foot pedal jump scares. Because now I can, without having to take my hand off the, uh, the keyboard. There's an interesting roster of weapons here. Question is though, will we get the ping? Actually, it's not that. It's not that weapon, is it? Oh damn it! What out with the reload again? You got like three minutes of ads, jeez. Tell you what, let me let me see if I can alter the ad roll here because that's bullshit. Fuck me. So, right. Total numbers of ads to show viewers every hour. It's currently bumped itself up to like three minutes per hour. It's just basically lumping it all in one go. Right. 
Yeah, I'm dropping that. I don't know why that's gone as far as it has. I've reduced it. Hopefully that's a little bit more bearable. No one should have to sit through that many fucking ads. That's absolutely awful. I don't like it because it just makes people bounce. It makes people bounce from the channel. And that ain't what I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway. What was I saying? If a sniper rifle can't one-shot a chain gunner. Well, it wasn't a sniper rifle. It's a bolt action. It's just a really old gun. That's fine against imps. It's a good job I saved. You know, the, the kind of vibe I'm getting from this is I expect a low wang one-liner every now and again. It feels... It's got the feel of, like, a Shadow Warrior spin-off. And that is pretty good. Just having a little trouble with my weapon switching. This is... Oh, there is jumping. There we go. Someone was mentioning that Microsoft Bimbos is in this. Yes, yes. The legend lives. The legend continues. This is chock full of references. Ah, it's got reload interrupt as well. All right, I'm just going to check... What the options are so visual recall recall recoil fade ins fade outs particles smoke bullet casing so all visual stuff um anything gameplay specific no it just seems pretty straightforward and that's you know kind of admirable these days you get a lot of mods that are kind of overstuffed instead of focusing on a a satisfying core cool nuts and bolts experience. There it is. We've rediscovered the bimbos. I think someone uh, visited the original building that had that on the side of it. It's gone now. Pour one out. Pour one out for Microsoft bimbos. I, I know I will. Later today. But yeah, this map has immaculate, immaculate vibes. I really want to blow that up, mainly because of the clippy graffiti. It looks like you're trying to blow up some barrels. Would you like some assistance? No, clippy, go away. Those explosions are great. I gotta find out whether they're specific to this, which I hope they are, or whether they're a product of um, the map. Author of the mine rejoice. Swing, swing, swing the pick. Raise your pick and raise your voice. Sing, sing, sing with me. Down and down into the deep. Who knows what we'll find beneath. Diamonds, rubies, gold and more. Hidden in the mountain store. What? Born underground. Suckled from a teat of stone raised in the dark. The safety of our- Oh, it's Deep Rock Galactic. Our bones to dig and dig makes us free. Come on, brothers, sing with me. The more, the, the more time goes by, the more I'm conv convinced that that game is not a game, it's a cult. But thank you for the 20 months, Sadrax. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy, diggy hole, diggy, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy, diggy hole, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy, diggy hole, diggy. Diggy hole, I am a dwarf, and I'm digging a hole, diggy. Diggy hole. You know, I, I just hope I've got the thing set up that allows me to separate the stream audio for the actual core game audio again. 
because this will be a bitch to edit around. It's, but if I ever want to make a video. It's hard enough as it is. Got your shenanigans. Can I get through the... Apparently not. But yeah, I, I, I played a bit of Deep Rock Galactic. I'm, I say, I, I'm just not a co-op guy. <laughs> I'm not a co-op guy. I mean, I could be. It just requires a lot of effort. And I'm, 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 I'm inherently lazy. <laughs> That's all me. How did I manage that? How do you even do that? Separate the alert audio from the rest. So... I... Uh, I had to check a tutorial. That showed me... How to assign different audio channels for certain things on my stream. So, for example... The desktop audio can be separated out into its own particular audio channel. You, you get a bunch of them that you can use through something like OBS. And then when you hit the recording button, you can tell it to either separate them out into their own individual tracks when you've finished recording, or mush them all together into one track, which is what I used to do. But now when I export... Takes takes a goddamn while. I might tell. I might ask you, tell you, show you. Uh, yeah, it separates all out, all the audio tracks out, and then I just need to select which one I need at any given time. It, it gives me more control, and if I get um, emote spam or like text to speech spam, uh, it's theoretically easier for me to filter it out. If I've got it set up properly, but I've been messing around with the settings lately to do other kinds of recording and it may be completely fucked. I don't know. Bedrax, the package is slowly being assembled. Cross border impost is no longer a thing, so you stuck with DPD DHL FedEx. Uh. Uh. Why can't postage to a relatively anonymous postbox be easier? For anyone that has no idea what the fuck I'm on about, uh, I've got some very generous people who want to send me something in the mail. And, um... I'm sure you'll understand. I, 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 I'm not generally in the habit of handing out my my address. Nor will I ever be, unless it's like for you know, ordering off Amazon. So I've got to find alternatives, which is more difficult than you might imagine. It's 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 a complete pain in the fucking ass. Promise it's not a pipe bomb. Good. Good. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I, I, I don't think that's the problem at this point. The problem is just getting it delivered. Because I, I don't have, like, a business address. I stream out of a spare room. <laughs> Yeah, and even if I had, like, an office, god, imagine. Imagine if I could afford an office. Uh, yeah. I'd probably want to have, like, a, a specific anonymized address. Like, a, a box where I could just go pick stuff up. But yeah, because I live in a... non-recognized area. <laughs> well, it is recognized. It is officially part of the UK. I'm not in some kind of rogue state. 
well, at this point, you'd blame me. Yeah, it's it's just a pain in the pain in the backside. Getting something like a, an anonymized post box. Is Naku Naru, Naru the map or the weapon set? Naku Naru is the weapon set. Uga Zenith is the map. Gameplay mod will always be first. Map will always be second. Uh, for future reference. Oh no! Not the reload! Always get caught by the reloads, especially in like that kind of situation. What happened to me last time? But you know, I think I might end up doing more of those um, mod roundups. They're so much easier to put together. And I've got less and less time these days to do big, singular, deep dive videos on one mod in particular. So that's probably going to be the way I go. Benefit is, you guys get more mods. Just, uh, the videos will be a little bit more, um, summary based rather than you know forensic where really drill down into what every single weapon does and I used to be able to do that when I had all of the time but right, I still want to get around this bit because I know there's a secret Having to, <laughs> having to account for those reloads is brutal. I was secretly hoping that that was like a teleport. Oh well. More mods per video. Mod backlog runs out faster. I've got a big backlog as well. 13 months. 11 months streak, yay. How are you doing, Mr. Icarus? I'm doing good, thank you, Shadow, Shadow Man. Thank you for the 13 months. I'm just... I'm just derping. That is the purpose of this year video. Derping around with a mod that I was interested in. Having fun. <laughs> at least I can... Oh! At least I can go around the corner if I do this. Them barrels, though. Them barrels! I like the, the little bit of extra spice. Even supposed to be able to jump on this map? It's not disabled. So I'm gonna do it anyway. I was secretly hoping there was a double jump so I could break everything even further. Okay. I just need to remember where the exit is. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why, it just, just that still image really makes me laugh. Ryan Gosling has just found himself as, as this kind of meme singularity. What was it that started it? Was it was it Drive? I'm sure it was Drive. Ever since Drive. Isn't this map set some kind of anthology collaboration? It's a Duma board project.
Oh, I've not played around with this yet. <laughs> it's very boomy. Oh, and you can individually fire. Nice. There it is, the Valve News Network anthem. What, this? Is that what they're using? Isn't this from Prey? It's midi-fied. Apparently, Cybes Freaky Colonoscopy was a Doom, Doom of Boards project. Yes, it was. It was. That was a trip. Did a video on it, didn't I? Man. Gonna have to do a roundup video on Realms Deep, aren't I? Hello, Icarus. Hope you're doing well. 68 months do go by quickly. Playing Liza P. Thoughts? Well, firstly, have some dudes, because I believe 68... Actually, no, 68 months doesn't... Help. You know what? Have some dudes anyway. I'm gonna play some dudes. It's, it's, it's my channel! I knew what I like! Lies of P is very entertaining. I would greatly like to play more of it. However... I have fuck all time. Absolutely zero fuck all free time lately. My one uh, kind of little bit of solace in my, my current state of parental responsibility is that the babies sleep through the night. And because I got earplugs, it means I can sleep on the actual bed instead of the god-awful futon downstairs. I still need all of the friggin' coffee, though. Rupert, cars replace the trees in Orga Zenith. As, an, as a result, in Hideous Destructor, all cars are stretched and shrinked vertically <laughs> to a varying degree. You know, I, I should have a section of something that's just Hideous Destructor crimes. Oh yeah, here's a little taller. Yeah. He chonk. The joys of parenting. Here's to your coffee budget. <laughs> Thank you, Evil Gamer. Thank you for the Prime. Oh, actually, I just remembered. Because sometimes I miss notifications. I'm just going to get my bot thing. Just in case. Discord broke? What? I don't use Discord all that much, so. Well, I've got a Discord channel, I'm just not there very much. Imk, am I gonna try Witchfire? Um, I, I, I have been following Witchfire for what feels like a goddamn eternity, and I, I'm not entirely sure that it's real. I think everyone's going to gaslight me into believing that it actually has something playable out now. I've heard varying things. Um, some people finding it a bit difficult. There's an element of get good, 
but that's never really shied me away from playing anything. So we shall see. I'd like to play it, but again, it comes back to the same thing I said about Lies of P. It looks like it could be very enjoyable. In Lies of P's case, it is quite enjoyable. It's right up my alley. And uh, I just need to find the goddamn mother truck in time. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Minos, thank you for the 400 bits. No one's used that for ages. <laughs> that That's a prime example of set and forget, by the way, when it comes to my notifications. I genuinely thought it was an archvile, but my mind was like, wait a minute, I'm sure there's no archvile in here, I've played this before. But it genuinely, yeah. <laughs> it genuinely made me pause. I was just waiting for the flames to envelop me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just... Well, I know what it is. It's the vibe. It's the soundtrack. It's the nice company. It's the drinks. I'm just finding this very chill. This is exactly how I would like to start my Fridays. It's nice like that. Nice like that. Evil Gamer G Man said that uh, which fire was a bit meh. Enemy levels with you making upgrading. The enemies level with your upgrades. Oh. Yeah, I always find that kind of. Sucks a little bit. Level scaling, I believe, is the more technical term for it. Oh, it does have an alt thing. Okay. Let's just get more rockets in the back of this thing. Trying to get this pinky in my crosshairs. I think I got him. I did! Not really sure what the usage of the, uh... of the scope is. Because the rockets move too fast for it to be like any kind of tracking. See, I, I always enjoy the, uh, what is it, like the Half-Life 2 rocket launcher where you got the laser tracker and you can just make the rocket go wee. Oh no, it is in the level! Oh, you... you <laughs> You've thrown me off! No! <laughs> no, 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 no! Successfully gaslit. What? He no sold! There's, like, no cover in this area as well. It sucks. Alright. You'd think that would do the job, right? Bit of metal on the end of a stick. But no. We gotta get at the big guns. That's always my policy whenever in an archvile, an archvile is in play. What is the biggest gun I've got that's not going to immediately kill me? And sometimes I even forget about that final part. I'm just happy to have the archvile dead. Oops, a daisy, I looked at chat too late. Shame about that secret BFG, bro, uh, bro, 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 Uh, 
I need more coffee. All right, before I get trucking on this level, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more coffee. I'm thinking it would have been funnier if those guys were just staring at that one. No reason. No reason. Be right back. Yo, coffee acquired. Zombies killed. How's everyone hanging? Mm. <laughs> I, I, I love these. I always love checking little in-universe stuff like this. Easter. Anyway. Oh god, like two ends of the spectrum here. Aegis uh, hanging by a tightrope and Dan low and loose. 
Mood. It is definitely a mood. See, I, I see that, and an old part of my brain just thinks of the um, the Microsoft conference. Everyone is just going, developers, 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 developers. Developers, 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 developers. And he's getting increasingly sweaty. Archie, you should come this way. Right, right here. Right, right, a little close. Just a smidge. I'm not sure he got that. Fuck you. Got there eventually. Good job, I'm invisible. You reckon demons get confused with one of those walls drops and there's just no one there? Like, I'm sure this wall was only gonna drop specifically if someone we could kill turned up in front of it. Hey, that John Travolta in an empty apartment meme. Speaking of John Travolta, I was uh, having to think about hilarious, over-the-top villain deaths in action films lately. Not unprompted, mind you. Uh, there was like a, a, a Twitter thread. And I was just thinking of the death scene in Hard Target, where Jean-Claude Van Damme drops a grenade down Lance Henriksen's pants and kicks him into a wall. Lance Henriksen just has enough time to get the grenade out of his trousers, unscrew the fuse, and then see the spark of the fuse burst back into the grenade, and his final, final word is, whoops, kills me every time. I always laugh. And yes, Broken Arrow is what I was going to circle around to with John Travolta. He gets speared by a nuclear warhead. It is the best. Even better, if you listen closely enough, there is the most hilarious dubbed reaction noise in the mix. You can just hear a really pained OOF! Oh, I can get that BFG! Oh, reload, 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 reload. Who the hell is John Travolta? God, I feel old. All right, we got the BFG, allegedly. John Travolta is a character played by Nick Cage, and, and vice versa, I believe, yeah. I know John Woo probably had a terrible time in Hollywood when he, he came over to make a bunch of films, but boy! To save. save often, save safely. Are they still quite entertaining films? Everyone knows about Face Off, and if you don't, you should watch it as soon as possible. Fuck, I nearly spilled my coffee with that. You guys are gonna stop startling me! But yeah, Face Off is an absolute trip. Broken Arrow is really fun. Christian Slater versus John Travolta. Even starts with a boxing match where they're beating the shit out of each other. Uh, Hard Target is one of my favorite Van Damme films. As, as, as a John Woo. And, uh... 
outside of John Woo, I think at the time, because I watched Broken Arrow, and I was like, ah, oh, Christian Slater seems to have been doing some decent action movies. I remember watching one that wasn't a John Woo, but it had Morgan Freeman as the villain. I think it was called Heavy Rain. I, 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 I remember enjoying it. Schwab just keeps running afoul of the Ordo mod. Anyway. Mission Impossible 2 is terrible, but Face Off and Broken Arrow are fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that killed them. Yeah, yeah, that's working pretty good. Reckon that'll make this opening section with the arch file a little easier for me to deal with. I think it might. You think I killed it? <laughs> no, it's still alive! God damn you. I, I, I ran- I ran out of- I ran out of ammo! Does this not auto-save at the start of a level? I'm spoiled with- with some of these features, aren't I? I'm just- There we go! I think I turned it off at some point because a mod was doing something fucky. That Rex, you don't know if I got it in Doom Infinite, but there's an active power-up that kills everything, but also kills you. Didn't I put that in the video? I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the video. I'm not sure if I uh, managed to mention the thing that saves you from that. I hinted, I hinted that there is something that could save you from that. At least in an early draft. It may not have made it into the video, I don't know. Sadrax, goldfish brain, so you don't remember. Me too. I'm, I'm very context dependent when it comes to memory. I need to reach what I'm trying to remember via tangent or, you know, see something that directly reminds me of it. Where's that beef? There it is. Right, because I'm invisible, I'm gonna get all the way around here so he's got no choice but to get absolutely fucking obliterated! Thank you! Wrecked. Excuse me while I reload my rocket launcher! Don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I feel a little annoyed when I get the uh, the invisibility because I like seeing the weapon models. So rather than having it just like this, like partial invisibility, I'm still invisible to my enemies, but I'd still like to be able to see my guns. Block, you finally remembered who John Travolta is. He couldn't remember that he did Grease. And the other one with Samuel Jackson. Pulp Fiction. <laughs> ah. You can poke him with it? Oh, wow. Let's see how effective that is. Okay, maybe not Fat Boy. I was I was thinking maybe one of these fellas up top. Oh god, that that, that does self damage. Got to be careful about that. These just look like really big cigarettes. You 
You know what? I've not tried the alt on that. I'm wondering if there's a good alt. Oh, it does have a it, it does have a bayonet on the end of it. It's just kind of difficult to see because of the perspective, and on the reload animation, it kind of just kind of disappears somewhat. Oh, is that new Castlevania out, Sadrax? New series? Ooh. I've been looking forward to that. I quite enjoyed the, uh, the first run that they did. Gave me a lot of faith. Also, I saw the trailer for the new Devil May Cry anime. How convenient, right? I didn't plan that. In the slightest. I really didn't. Often save safely. Didn't plan it. I was covering Devil May Crowbar. And then they uh, put out the Devil May Cry anime announcement. I mean, it looks it looks good. It looks like they're going from uh, maybe Devil May Cry 3 era. Younger Dante. It seems like the right thing to do. There's a lot of space they can play with between Devil May Cry 3 and like Devil May Cry 5. I think I tried watching the original Devil May Cry um, anime that they put out a while back and it just didn't... It didn't really do much for me. At the time, I don't know if that'll uh, change on a rewatch. Something like that. I said go fart. Like, how rude. Zadrak's old DMC anime takes place between one and two. Cool. I figured as much. DMC2, continuity-wise, keeps getting pushed further and further and further into the future, as far as I can tell. It's kind of like Star Wars, with uh, the, the Force Awakens trilogy. They're just pretending that um, we didn't really do that, and, uh, you know, pushing it off further and further into the future, and instead choosing to fill what they've got with... Uh, the stuff that they discarded to begin with, which was the Expanded Universe stuff. Oh, and I hope they don't think I didn't notice them. That little line in Ahsoka recently where they were like, Oh, yeah, the, the Emperor died. Apparently. People. PEOPLE! Acting like we didn't all see the end of Return of the Friggin' Jedi. <sighs> they renamed Jizz? How dare they? How dare you make me improve that term as well? Alright. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that the, the auto mod has the same sensibilities with someone from the 1950s in terms of um, what it needs to uh, censor. What? It's renamed. It's doing it twice. Why does it censor jizz in caps and then again in lower in? Um. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to be spending my Friday morning approving jizz in chat. It's, it's just that should be Ark's job. Anyway. But yeah, for anyone that's confused over why we're all talking about jizz, uh, that is what uh, Alien Jazz 
was known as in Star Wars. No, this is not a joke. So you know that the cantina theme. That's jizz. That's 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 premium A grade jizz. Oh, I see them barrels. This is a friendly reminder to save. Save often, save safely. I will. Okay, it's safe. Excuse me while I approve spunk in chat. And jizzing. I'm turning off auto mod. <laughs> This is unreasonable. <laughs> Thought that was going to say for a good time visit lemon party. That doesn't work anymore, does it? It's like Rick rolling, but you needed to, you know, scoop your eyeballs out with spoons afterwards. Actually, on the subject of Rick Rowling, uh, apparently Rick Astley has uh, blown me up with a rocket launcher and also released a song that keeps gaslighting you into thinking you're about to get Rick Rolled by the song itself because he's got a lyric that is never gonna. In this, in, in this, it's, it's cruel. He knows what he's doing. Rick Astley knows what he's doing. Save on that ammo expenditure, you know. Yeah. When life gives you barrels, make explosions. How did it have to be a rev? Alright, where's that? There we go. There we go. Rick Astley is the example of a man who embraced the meme. I, I think he just he just embraced being a nice fella. Ah. <laughs> uh. Right, did I pick up a key anywhere? I've done this before. I always end up doing this. I get lost in this level because of all the pretty lights. And uh, and then I forget where the freaking key cards are. Thinking it should be up there somewhere. Bob. Life gets, uh, gives you lemons, get mad. Ah, good old Cave Johnson. I was watching an interesting video recently, uh, I think called The Moron Theory in relation to Portal 2. How every character is some degree of moron. Oh, fuck me. Even like, you know, Cave. Especially Cave. Even GLaDOS. Even Chell. I mean, Chell can only, you know, speak by jumping up and down anyway, so, you know. Rice! I've made my way back up here. I was 
hoping to find some kind of goddamn key card unless ah that'll be why this reminds me of cruelty squad a bit like the black marble Head yet? Ugh. There's a lot of alleys you can fall down in here that result in you needing to like circle and backtrack and I'm like, eh. We have more shortcuts, please. Loves me some shortcuts. GLaDOS was created by morons. Yeah, GLaDOS was created by morons. GLaDOS was sourced from a moron. At the behest of a moron. And ended up creating morons. Portal at its heart, is all about the perils of doing science for the sake of doing science. Science is not always smart. That's why we have things this is called ethics. You know, if Automod was worth its salt, Sadrax, it would have it would have banned you for that joke. <laughs> Not because it's offensive or anything, just because it's a terrible joke. We need we need context. Joke context sensitive automods. <laughs> that was the point. Awful joke. You reminded me I need to uh have a play of Turok 2 again. I was I was trying to get through the first Turok, but I stopped playing for a bit, and it's one of those games where if you leave it for a while and come back to it, you will utterly forget what you were doing. Because it's got like a, a hub level thing going on that's a little hard to decipher. You need to collect certain like a certain number of keystones from different levels. And I gotten to the point where I've got no idea what level I should be going to to get the relevant stones anymore. Make a sequel, you need the same things, two rocks too. Time is it? Is it too early for me to escape? No. Yeah. I've got another half hour. Right. This level always does this to me. I remember where the key card is to get into this building, and then it gives me a key card for a door that I don't even remember existing. This Gosh darn level. I'm sure there was more. I admit that's kind of generous. You get eight shots out of this per cartridge. Yeah. There's this door all the way back in here. Confuses me because now I've one of your favorite streamers play your suggestion with the thumb. I, I, I've forgotten about the yellow door and I'm like, what? Sadrax, you're not a dad, and you need to th you throw dad jokes. So you just need to up your game. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm going to take personal offense to that. 
good dad jokes, the best dad jokes, are in the context of what's happening. Not out of the blue! I need more coffee. Anyway, Alp! Hi, hi. Thank you for the 38 months. Feels good when one of your favorite streamers plays your suggestion. Well, this is why I've got the suggestions channel over in the Discord, which reminds me I need to fix the Discord link on my Twitch page. The dev uh, of uh, Salako was like DMing me on Twitter going, I wanted to get into your Discord. And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that command don't work. Ugh. Why do scuba divers fall in backwards, evil gamer? Why? Tell me. Reveal your secrets. This is taking an uncomfortable amount of time. Why, why do they fall in backwards? Because if they went forwards, they'd fall in the boat. No, I've got time. Ah. That's why I should keep auto mod on. <laughs> but yeah, the second level of this always takes the wind out of my sails somewhat because it's a little weirdly constructed and then uh and then i just get tired and i need a nap nap alp thank you for the give sub double damage if i can reload my gun in time Yeah, baby. Even more gift subs out. Thank you so much. Single handedly saving people from the terror of ad rolls. This feels like it should be a level where you're riding, like, a, a bike or something. You know, like, these directional arrow things. Like a race. I always find that, like, arrows in a linear map <laughs> kind of make me feel uh, like I'm being insulted slightly. Go this way, you ding-dong! Wheelchair mod when? That reminds me, I need to play some more Armored Core. Maybe do some wheelchair build.
You know what? I feel like this mod is uh, is meshing quite nicely with this style of map. I think it's working quite nicely. There was a really nice uh, Japanese-themed map set that someone was making. I'm not sure if it's out yet. But I was hoping to mush with this. But all in good time. I keep having to remind myself that it's like a collaborative map set. Where everyone just pitches in. Arrows remind you of the old game F-Zero. That may have been intentional. There was a Japanese-themed Valentine's Day map set, but he has not safe for wor work imps. I was actually looking at that one. That's another Duma board project uh, map set. Oh, fuck. Still going. Did it stop? No, it's still rising. It's still rising. God. <laughs> Judgment time died on the way back to his home planet. <laughs> forget to save on this one. I got invincibility. Oh, it's wearing off. Oh, fuck. Reload before it goes. Of course, it was a lost soul. It caused self damage. It always is, is a lost soul. Alp, holy shit. 10 gift subs. The heck? Thank you so much. I feel like that's a reference to Ruiner. That's a fun game. Would recommend. I wish there was a sequel to Ruiner. I just like its style too much. Fun fact, Ruiner is uh, part of the reason why I started using like some of the more stylistic elements on my channel, like the font and stuff. I just like it. I like the cyberpunk red kind of look. <sighs> so, how many gift subs is that now? 76? <laughs> so yeah, did, did you find uh, an, an, an oil well underneath your house, Alp? Good grief. Ikari, Ruiner is so damn good. Yeah, I, I particularly love the vibe of the, like, the hub area between main missions. It's got an absolutely fantastic track running through it. It's uh, Island Door, I think is the name. Anesian Circle. It's nice. Absolute vibes. 
Ikari, have I ever played The Ascent? I've played a little of it. Uh, that was early on when I think it had some stuttery issues. Reminder to save. Save often. Save safely. But I could be persuaded to give it another try. You thought my black and red style was because of Dr. Disrespect. Nah. Let's face it, there's a lot of overlap in the uh, synthwave cyberpunk adjacent sphere when it comes to style and such. But hey, I like what I like. I forgot that this is where the level gets a little, little nutso. Rupert, he was checking on the ascent from time to time. Last check, there was a review saying if you're hoping the game breaking bugs were fixed, they didn't. That's a shame. I like the idea of the ascent. I like the look of it, the style of it. It it should have been a home run, but there was a few little like minor I say minor. There were a few issues that put people off. Bugs performance wise. Maybe, 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 maybe there's some fixes on the PC gaming wiki that might be worth a check. That's uh, that's always my go-to when um, when the dev has not uh, adequately fixed everything up, but there's sometimes community fixes. in on the half pipe because we are just that rad oh excuse me hope I wasn't interrupting Shotgunner and an imp in a room together. Say no more. You don't get to t teleport behind me and say nothing personnel, kid. This is, I guess, so you can't get away from enemies by just, like, sodding off. Is that an Excalibat? <laughs> no, it's not. And it's not. It just looks like it. I'm like, why is he holding that bat in such a strange way? I'm not used to the BFG dealing self-damage, okay? <laughs> Next time I'm gonna do some demos, I should check out Roller Drum. Uh, I've been interested in it. But yeah, God, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I got no time. Today is like the the day I earmark. For like just playing stuff. And even then it's not always stuff that I specifically want to play. There's stuff that I need to play. I gotta do some Doom mods.
even even of an evening, you know, after I've signed off for the day, it's just like you don't get free time. When you're dealing with hungry, hungry twins. Anyway, I want to try that baseball bat. That's not a baseball bat again. Interesting. Interesting. That's good Doom Cute, I gotta admit. This map, this map set does have a lot of it. Get up, get back in your closet. You gotta infuse it. Does. It kills me, yeah. Right. It's, it's a bit of a fuck everything thing, isn't it? Yeah, that works. Ooh, that's a nice effect. That is a very nice effect. He died. Oh god, they're all teleporting in. Fuck off! Too many of your goddamn demons on this level. Or <laughs> That's a lot of funny looking Doom Cute. Doom cute. Adorable, I would say. It fits considering what it is. Oh, but yeah, this section is tough. Ah. This may assist. level brought to you by Michael Bay. I want to get around them, but they're, they're really good at blocking. A pain sound. Sounds like Gianni busting a nut. I want, I want to ask how you know that. <laughs> then again, considering Gianni, everyone's probably heard it. He makes a lot of interesting noises, what can I say? He is full of... He is full of noises. Which is useful, because that's his entire trade. Making interesting noises. With his face. Right now I can save. sections where I feel kind of bad for the enemies teleporting in because like barely a second after they've teleported in I just blast them in the face. Did I just get Archvile flamed? Be gone. I 
think you can destroy this wall. Yeah. I was doing it from the opposite side, but I haven't quite cottoned on. It's it's a nice little trick. It's basically like a shoot wall. Shoot on activation, it'll drop a sector. And shoot it again, it'll drop the next sector and grant you access to the room. It's just, it's nice. It's simple. It's elegant. Wasn't Gianni supposed to be in a porn game? I'm, that's, that is entirely likely. Almost certainly. Oh, I could I could have telefragged, but I just shot him instead because Spider Mastermind is a pushover. Good music throughout the course of this. Good choices. a wanna. That's an illegal amount of pain elementals. Illegal. <laughs> ah, it's going to be about the way it goes. Like I say, Lost Souls suck. Suck! Bullshit, it really is. It's a really fucking shit fight because of the pain elementals. <laughs> Make splash damage weapons like this, which are. What I really want to use, difficult to use. That's fine. I'm leaving. Fuck. This is not spawners or pain elementals. Gotta mop them up. Be sure they don't headbutt me to death. Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. What the fist? Right. As much. As I would like to continue playing this, I feel like I've gotten as much as I need. The vibes are immaculate, I must say. I'm enjoying the start of this level, especially after the end of the last one. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice change. Uh, but I must go and do very important things, such as say hello to my children and buy lunch, and then alcohol. In that order. Because I'm going to be back in the afternoon with a different Doom mod. Based on Indiana Jones. That's nice.
That is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Like staggered to get that effect. That's all. That's all. Yeah, sector based. It's nice. Do mod roulette. Uh, when? That takes a lot of setup. But if you like Indiana Jones, you'll be a fan of um, the mod that I'm going to pick up for this afternoon. Uh, it came out of nowhere, as these mods usually do. And we'll see if it's any fun. I'm sure it will be. But until next time, this has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out.